Welcome back, everyone. I, it's been a while. Very long while. Load game. Oh, man. It's a long. Um, it's never gonna be YouTube. Or... Yeah, that's it. Well, when we left, I don't remember when we, what happened when we left. I don't remember. Um, well, I think we didn't actually have a war. Yeah, we didn't have a war. Yee hee hee. That's awesome. We didn't have a war in an episode. That's freaking awesome. Or I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Do -do 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 -do. So we're just gonna wait until this loads because it takes a while. I oh. oh yeah. We went religious, very religious. So we're gonna need to start trading with other countries. Oh wait, no we didn't. The other countries went religious on us. Um, well we need, we have a positive and everything. So we don't want anyone to get science from us. So we might as well go with, we'll trade with Zurich. And trade route established. Okay, so COD has now been trade routed with us. Remember last round? See, look, they have one seed left, and we burnt a city here. Lots of fire. Okay, but that's besides the point. Okay, so we finished the medieval era. Now we're in the Renaissance. And guess what? We can get guns. Big, powerful boom boom sticks. We'll be the most powerful empire in the world until someone else gets guns. So. I'm thinking, since we are not really a naval based society, we really should let's go with getting gunpowder wait no printing press. It's cause once we learn all the countries that exist, that means we'll be able to uh wait oh man, we do know all the countries, so that means we'll be founding the World Congress. We're becoming communists. I don't care anymore. This is I'm done. I'm done with it. Look, we have. Wait, do we even have a religion? Religion overview. We don't have a Pat Parthenon. We can't even make a Parthenon. That was sad. Sad, really. Okay, I'm, I'm very confused. Who's religifying us? That's the new term. Instead of relig making our city religious, it's just religifying. We don't have any army anymore. We really should just upgrade our army again. We really need that. Okay, choosing production. Well, what I'm thinking is, is that if we rebuild... Start building a lot of uh, um, like intelligence-based stuff, like universities. We'll be able to go back and start pushing way forward. See, Russia's over there, so that means, and then yeah, everyone's pretty far away from us. Poland has denounced the Zulus. That's interesting. Fun facts. Kamaha, Kamaha, Kamaha. Oh, so you want us to give you? Hmm. You don't have any, you have negative 16 gold, so I guess we have, should accept that. Oh, then no. Our armies are gone. We only have, like, a small army now. We used to have a great army. Look, we see, look. Military soldiers, five. We have the second smallest army. Yeah, we have the second smallest army. Not for long! You know why? Of course you do. War is coming. A large one. 
not really evil, I meant for developing a large technological empire. So we've got Utiki. I think that's what the name is. Does it even have a library? Oh, it does. And then it also has a, um, it uses good science. But it doesn't have any people being made, so. We need more people, so. Why did we put, get that great admiral? Hi. Oh, yeah, we'll take that gold. Richness in power! So, I'm pretty sure these city states have more of an army of, than an army than us. But soon we won't need that iron. Soon we will have guns, powerful firearms. <laughs> oh man, it takes me back. This takes me back very far. Well, let's see. Oh crap. Um, let's see how people don't like. Okay, Morocco hates us. Doesn't like us. Yeah, Morocco is just like mm, to us. So I mean, if there ever is a woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, that's us making a proposal. Oh, it's not us. They beat us to it. Right on, man. Okay. We need to do science funding. Oh, everyone hates it. Everyone hates it. Ugh. Cultural heritage. No. 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 It's embargo Morocco. War. Okay, let's see what the other proposals are. World Congress. Oh. I were definitely gonna choose communism. Because I mean we don't even have a religion, so I mean I guess it works out. Ha, 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 you can go die in a hole. World Congress. What is his? Oh. So they're mad at us. Oh, there's my little puppy! Sabine! Oh, she's so cute. She's a little poodle. Yes, we will work together with Kamahamahai. It's kind of interesting. I can't even pronounce his name, but we're allies. Okay, ban luxury copper! Oh! Oh! Zulu? That makes us mad. You don't want to see me mad, do you? Oh. I didn't know that they were... Okay, so that's still 14 turns of... Ah, Russia! I'm gonna just call them the Soviet Union, even though they're not yet. Love dogs. Who else loves dogs? If you don't love dogs, get off my channel. No offense, but seriously, that that's sad. Whoa! 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 War, war on city states. Where are the Zulu forces? They're not breaking. Nah, 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 bro. Nah. They they can't have land underneath us. We'll be surrounded. Whew. If it's above us, that's fine. It's blue. So. Quebec City. Oh man. It's underneath us. They're gonna have to pass through our territory in order for that to happen. Well, it ain't gonna happen, folks. That's not gonna happen. Ha. Okay, so we're gonna buy tiles here, here, and here. Those will be our defense points. They can't break through unless they have open borders and or they declare war. So please, I hope, I swear, if they declare war, I'm gonna probably die. Very easily. Okay. 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 There we are. Perfect. Boom! 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 Now they'll have to go by sea. Ha! Fight me! Not really, don't, don't fight us. Yeah, we're pretty do we're doing pretty bad. I think our science my science strategy doesn't work that well. Okay, so they got a high defense of their cap in their cities now. 
But as long as we don't let them pass through. Okay, so now these guys are going to have bonus humans. Let's start getting lots and lots of production. We must be able to chug out an army in a night. Well, once we get um, spies, that means we'll spy on... Oh, we already have spies. Ah. Oh! They've made peace with them. Our intimidation ta- Our in- Quotation mark. Intimidation tactic worked. Quotation marks. We should think about it. They should make it so that these things that like, give like half the output of the original city, except for like culture and science. Like just Hmm. Okay, so soon we'll be able to get better technologies. I think in war, see how Mombasa is a good has that all that good territory. If we in a war, we could swing our troops up. And let me, let me switch to strategical mode. Dun 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 dun. dun. Okay. Okay. Good. So in a war, see we can't go to war with this area. Those are two civilizations. But. If we come up with our troops in a wall kind of formation here, we swing up through Mombasa. And if there's a, we're able to curl, curl, go around his city, or we have boats, we can push in, declare war, and cobble our troops moving over and landing on the shore, D-Day style. And our troops will move in through here, taking out Kabul. And then we'll have to set up a border wall, kind of. Not a wall, but like a, a large force to defend our, our, our cities from the Zulu menace. Very simple victory plan. Now, guns. Big guns. Guns are what our civilization needs. We'll accept... Wait. They're about some of my band copper. And we don't really need iron as yet, but let's go with gold. Let's try to add a little bit. Let's add a teensy bit more gold to this. Let's go with seven gold. Perfect. Mmm. That works. No, oh, no, barbarians. The beginning of uh, our citizens. We're having flashbacks of the beginning of the game! Right? Right? Oh, good. I just remembered. We have open borders with Kamahamiha. Kamahamiha. That means we can easily go through their territory to help defend against the Zulu Minis. Okay, there we are. We don't have that much of an army, but we will soon. Cheap. Look, let's see their maintenance. Except that gold. Everyone's buying copper off of me. Okay, let me see. Okay. The Muska Man, what's... Okay, Muska Man. Okay, so, upgrades from... Upgrades from... So we've got our 24 combat strength compared to this... The... Long Swordsman, 21. 21 to 24. Man, that's a three-point bonus. That's a three point bonus. Mm -hmm. That's a three-attack bonus. That's a pretty good bonus, guys. Very good bonus. Especially if we combine it with Lard of... Oh my gosh, are you realize we not, might not be the head of technology now. Oh my god, the Zulus are? If the Zulus have guns, I quit this game. I quit. I swear, if the Zulus get guns before us, we're doomed. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be a, there's gonna be a world war someday. And we're probably gonna be part of it.
Matic. Choosing production. You know? I think we need to start working on a military. We'll start building, getting everything ready. Z bum bum boy. Okay, we really should. We need to start fighting on on the Zulus as much as we can. We can't insult them. Shaka's made peace with Mombasa. Okay, so our troops are not ready. So adopting a policy. Um. Okay, adopting rationalism. I know it's gonna make everyone mad that I haven't balanced it out. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna need a large force engaged. As long as we can keep Mombasa under control. Because we're not doing so well in the government scene. Mm -hmm. Okay, holding. We're gonna save our troops until in four in four turns. Oh man, we're way behind in government in the real world. Oh man, that w those words in the beginning really made, messed us up. We really should fight hard. We shouldn't really fight anymore. Shouldn't be talking about the war, I guess. Then. So um, I think, logically speaking, in this battles, in these battles, if you have that. If we um push with that arc movement, we can easily get to mom um to the uh the those guys. But we need those guns and fast. Lots and lots of guns. Because if we don't have guns, why is everyone so religious? Catholicism. In three turns, we will actually be able to get a musketman. Okay, we need. Okay. Truthfully, we need a city with. Uh, okay. This is closer. And this is giving us more food. Okay, we do need better production. So, as soon as all these workshops are being built, that will start build, getting lots and lots of caravans. As many as we can get, which is a total of four. And, yeah. Okay, we'll have a total of four caravans moving out and getting as much production for our capital city as possible. And we'll be sp We'll just go nuts with our military. Okay. Boutique has finished their, their uh, workshop. So we'll start working on a barracks. Once that trade route is over, over in this one. How do you stop a trade route? Oh yeah, trade route over here probably. Trade route over here. Ah. Um. I ah, forget it. We can't really change it yet. We can't change it until the trades are done. Okay, we've got our musketmen. Oh, just in time. Just in time for our building stuff in its production. Dun 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 dun. But we need to get all of our cities ready to have be a massive production powerhouse. Cannons will be very good for the battle because of our cannons. This is going to be a tough and a tent intense war if whenever it comes we need to turn out as many troops as possible as many as possible okay so we've got our soldiers okay we'll they'll promote them again Oh, well, there is still the city state there. I thought, like, oh my gosh, this is the city state gone. But this will achieve allow us to get intense amounts of. Oh, Shaka! 
Give them the graphics. We are second in technology. And last, pretty much, in everything else. Except in approval, surprisingly. Oh, wow. They have horrible food. Aha! Musket men! The first musket men of this war, the civilization has begun! Okay. Watch this. Watch. Look at our army now. It's, it's not even... It's crap. We have a crap military. If we could, if Carthage could just settle one more city really far away from where they are, we could take down that capital and just finish it off. Okay. Once the, we start churning out musketmen, we'll be able to continue our invasions and begin a massive war. Like, a big war. We'll just go full Napoleon style on everyone. Like, Napoleon style. Okay, we'll set up... Carthage will be our first target, obviously. They've lasted too long. We don't like them. They don't, no one likes them. They don't even have much of a country. So, yeah. We're going Car We're going to take down Carthage. Carthage just is done. We're done. I don't want to have to mess with just this country in the way. We take out Carthage and take out those city-states below us will control an even larger sum of territory. First, we will take out the city-states, though. Okay. Let's see. Quebec City is allied with... Nobody? Oh, God. This city's got city... Um, nobody. Okay. These are both perfect for battle. To test our weapons against. We'll start with, um... Zurich. Get our troops stationed on their border. Hmm. We need to get our weapons ready. These guns will be very, very helpful. We should disband these weaker units. Okay, let's get, um, drill one. And we'll start sending them over to a cot to this city. See, look, look. I bet we're pretty up. We're already. We're very low in approval rating, but look at that. We're climbing up in the ratings. Look at that massive arm. We're developing our, a bigger and bigger army constantly. This our our one. If we keep churning out soldiers at this rate. It's gonna be wonderful. We're deleting you. Sorry, you're not needed anymore for war. Okay, alert. Once we get all these musketmen out, out and running, we'll be able to achieve a quick and simple victory. This is gonna be a long video, I bet. Okay, so, as you can see, the easy scythe movement, see in the map in the corner, will easily allow us to pass through Zurich. I mean, that's our goal, to pass through Zurich and then go down to Quebec City, allow our troops to heal, and then we'll continue our assaults up into Carthage. Carthage has lasted too long. She's not needed anymore. We'll keep churning up these troops as much as we can. Okay. We need to explore more land because we know nothing about this world, really. I mean, sure, we know where we are, but we don't know anything really above us. That would be difficult and prove very inefficient in the wars, if they're, when their wars become. Because these new weapons... This will definitely bring out war. Yeah. This will definitely not bring out war. Did you know Napoleon had to have a battle with rabbits and lost? It is 100% true. So, he was over here thinking, hmm. 
After I victory in this war and uh, all of this, I want to go rabbit hunting. So his second hand guy says, Okay, boss, I'll find you some rabbits. And he decides, hmm, look at those rabbits over there. All locked up in cages, never knew freedom. And all, always accept, 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 assume that humans have food for them. And they'll attack anyone that, any human that doesn't. Sure, perfect, 100% for allowing Napoleon to go hunting with them. So we go over and says, Hey, I'd like to buy an, an entire cage worth of rabbits. And says, Alright. And he goes over. Says, Napoleon, I got your rabbits. So they go out in the field with their guns and you're ready, excited to go start killing. Right? And they let him out of the cage. And the rabbits just hop out, turn around and look at Napoleon. And they see into his soul. And look deeper and deeper and deeper, and they see that he has no food. So these rabbits go nuts. They all they just all fly at Napoleon. Napoleon is having trouble beating back some bunnies. Bunnies. And Napoleon has jumped to his carriage and the. Then the rabbits start attacking the carriage. Okay? Attacking the carriage! We're gonna finish this attack and we'll be done. Don't worry, everyone. And the rabbits. And then the bully yells at the driver and says, Get out of here! Let's go! And because he's so scared of these rabbits. You thought Waterloo was his greatest failure. No, no, no. The Battle of Rabbit Hill was Napoleon's greatest failure. Well, I mean, that's kind of funny, right? World's greatest warrior for a long time period gets defeated by bunnies. Bunnies used something called guerrilla warfare, and they did not. Then they used it to perfect efficiency. <laughs> okay. If I had two, I would be like down, but I don't. So embargo, Marat. Actually, that was just a stupid thing. So commit delegates. Hopefully it doesn't fail. <laughs> Hopefully one of them fails. Hopefully. <laughs> oh man, this is intense, guys. War and destruction is all that exists in this cruel world. Hey, both of them failed. Oh, look. Warm guns. Now we have an army ready for war! Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed this wonderful video. I really do. I'm sorry, I'm just... Yeah, wonderful video. Definitely.